what you want to do is you get any email like that. If you have an account, like with your bank or whatever, just go to their website and log in like you normally would do and do it that way because then you know it's secure. You know where you're going. You don't know where they're sending you when you click on a link. So if anybody ever sends you a link and you don't know that person, don't click on it. So because it, most likely it's something like that. Um, war driving. War driving is, came, the term kind of came about from uh, war dialing. And I'll explain what that is later. War driving is when somebody gets in their car, their, their laptop, and they drive around looking for open wireless networks. Like, you know how you can go to Starbucks and they have wireless there. You can take your computer and you can log on to the internet from Starbucks. You can do it a lot of places like uh, McDonald's. A lot of businesses have it now. Well, a lot of people, and even a lot of businesses, don't know how to secure their network. So just random people can't log in. So war driving is when people will run, run around, drive around with the software, and they'll see how many wireless networks they can hit and uh, how many they can gain access to. Everybody uses uh, wireless now. Um, I, I know very few people that have just a regular um, um, router, which is what gives you connectivity to the internet. Most of them have like wireless, so you can be so you don't have to connect a wire to your computer. That's what I mean when I say wireless. Okay. Any questions about any of that? I know it's a little, it's a little technical, but if you have any questions later on, feel free to ask me. Okay. Um, one of the biggest threats to uh, computer security, and this directly affects availability. Remember we talked about uh, the CIA triad and confidentiality, integrity, and availability. This affects availability. Okay, it's called a denial of service or a DOS attack. <laughs> and basically what this is, is you get a bunch of computers and you send a bunch of packets to one, uh, one computer and you, what it does is it overloads the system and it can't access anything. This would be like um, you guys remember on 9-11, on I mean, you guys don't remember, I don't know, but on 9-11, on um, it was literally impossible to get a cell phone call out, okay, because the lines were just flooded with calls. Everybody was trying to call everybody else. That's basically what a denial of services, except it's done purposefully. Somebody wants to prevent you from getting to the internet. Don't worry about the different types. Those are just examples. I'm not going to ask you about them. Um, but there are different types of ways of doing a denial of service. A uh, distributed denial of service, the second bullet point, is basically taking a whole bunch of different computers and doing an attack on one target. You could do it with a single computer. You could do it with, it's much more effective if you have a lot of different computers. Say we took all these computers in this classroom and we sent a bunch of mes messages to Mike's computer. Well, his computer probably wouldn't like that very much. So that's, that's basically what the denial of service attack is. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go into the different types of which is technical, but just be aware that there are different ways of doing it. And this is 